So I have a pretty packed schedule today. I think I have uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have six meetings today, um, which is definitely a lot. So Thursdays tend to be my heaviest days when it comes to meetings. I try to like schedule all of my meetings kind of on the same days and condense them because I find that it's hard to do like work for 30 minutes, go into a meeting, do work for 30 minutes, go into a meeting. It's like really hard to be productive in context switch. So that's like why I put all my meetings or try to uh, usually within the same few days. So today will probably be less of like the traditional like sit down and do actual work and more of the like, getting updates, sharing updates, like sharing work, getting feedback from a lot of people, that type of thing. Okay, so finishing touches here. I'm super excited to bring you guys on my journey today, especially because I plan on doing an unboxing later because uh, I got a bunch of stuff from Amazon Games that I'm super excited to see and then show you guys. That's the final look. This is my everyday work, go out look pretty much and yeah. Let's go. My first meeting of the day actually starts in a couple of minutes and I'm not gonna go into too much detail about like the things I'll be chatting about all day or the things that I've been working on just because my game is still in pre-production and hasn't been officially announced yet. And um, like I've said before in my other videos, your girl's not trying to get fired, but this first meeting is a like team leads health sync, which is essentially where all of the team leads get together. We talk about what our teams are working on, the status blockers, like overall prioritization. It's pretty important that we stay on top of these things because we're trying to hit our next major milestone by the end of the year. And this milestone is particularly important because it'll move the game from essentially pre-production to production. The second meeting that follows right after is actually like a full studio sync, but all of the studio hops onto this meeting. Usually the head of the studio will give any updates or if there were like any major changes or pivots to the game, he'll relay that information down. And then a lot of times we'll have actual individual teams showing some of their work, which is really cool. Last week we had a team actually show like an update to a character design. They're like changing the art style a little bit, upping the fidelity. And then another team this this week I think is supposed to show us like the most recent update to a tool that they're building that allows like voice lines to be created more seamlessly which is really cool uh, so excited to kind of see what things are going to be shared in the meeting and then after that I have like a little bit of a break before I have to hit all the rest of my meetings in the later afternoon <music> I just finished my first few meetings of the day and now I'm gonna take some time to put my heads down and do a little bit of work. Lately, the things that I've been focusing on is like outlining what good and ethical monetization would look like for a game, as well as like preliminary thoughts around design for monetization, how that ties into the economy, how that ties into other core parts of gameplay. Um, we'll do that for a little bit and then I'll actually go and finally open up all of the boxes that Amazon Games has sent me. And so, yeah. I swear to God, this is like 50 pounds. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's cute. No joke. This is like my, I think, fifth Amazon cup. But my first Amazon Games cup. This one's really heavy. I'm most excited for this one. I'm pretty sure this is my gaming laptop. quality box. Ooh. 
Ooh. It's pretty thin, but it's it's got some weight to it for sure. Amazon sent me a keyboard mouse set, two in one set, Red Dragon. It's the brand, can you see that? I don't know if I'm gonna use this one because I already have a keyboard and mouse that I like. They're both HyperX and I like them a lot, but I would keep this on the side. This is, oh, I'm most excited about this is my dock. And now I can actually finally connect my laptop to all of my other things, all of my monitors, and it's so much easier. I was actually, really, I actually really wanted this one. I had a special request for this. Best wireless gaming headset. This is definitely something I'm gonna be taking when I actually finally travel into the studio or I'm traveling for work. This is actually the third C922X Pro camera that I have. one because they're both the exact same monitor. So this is a Dell 27 inch monitor. I think this is bigger than the current monitors that I have. Today I'm just having leftovers, which is just like salmon, rice, Japanese mayo, sriracha, veggies. Um, and it's like that TikTok recipe uh, where you also like wrap it in the seaweed. So it's pretty good. And then I have homemade miso soup. My presentation skills in food is, I would give myself probably like a D plus. So I don't know if you can really see it. It doesn't look that great, but it tastes pretty awesome. Okay, I'm about to jump into four one-on-one -on -one meetings back to back. The first one is with uh, Economist actually, and we're gonna talk about, well, like the economy of the game, how we would build it. And then we also tend to talk about the economies of other types of games that are out there. My second meeting is with another PM on another game currently in development. I think it's just really good to share learnings early on as possible. So I always try to schedule time with other PMs if they have free time to get feedback on things, just to learn about what they're doing, all of that stuff. The third one is with a creative director. I put together some initial thoughts on what like uh, the design could look like for our monetization systems. And so I wanted to get his general feedback on that. And the last one is a meeting with the head of the studio. So he just decided to make a pretty like notable pivot to the game, um, one that I was actually in favor of. So we'll probably end up using a lot of the time to talk about that. And then I'll also show him kind of that same monetization design doc that I was showing the creative director. I'll also show to him because at the end of the day, it's his game. He's, a, he's the head honcho. So I want to make sure that I have buy-in and he feels good about what I'm doing, you know? <laughs> recently finally got my own login to a tool called machinations.io which is 
a really, really powerful design tool. Like you, you could design an entire game in there. It's actually sick what it can do. You can often use it to build out certain aspects or certain systems within the game, like crafting systems, a loot box system. It's helpful for figuring out and like balancing economy or seeing like the average amount of time it takes for a player to do X or a, pl a player to do Y. I'm not quite at a stage right now where I'm actually fully crafting the monetization systems for my game, but I like to put kind of some of my initial ideas in it, like map out what it would look like. Once I get to that alignment of like, okay, this is how we plan to monetize the game. This is the strategy. Then I will go out and actually design what that system will look like. So I'm about to head out to grab a quick bite to eat for dinner and then it's opening night of Thor Love and Thunder. I am super excited. I actually changed into a shirt, well not a Thor shirt, but it's the only like Marvel related shirt that I have which is <laughs> my Guardian of the Galaxy t-shirt, but it's like Marvel festive, Marvel theme. So I'm super excited. I heard it was pretty good. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys later. What do you think? Solid 7.8 out of 10. 